Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pleasure that I introduce myself as a Sonal Shah of this podcast uh, from Anfar Tech Venture and as a distinguished guest for today is uh, Mr. Kamal Farag. He is a Chief Technology Officer at the Human Resource Development Fund, HRDFKC. And uh, he has expanded his career from last 16 years and a profound experience in the software development project management and strategic leaderships uh, with the finger on the pulse of emerging trends in the software development and project management Kamal is not just a leader but he is also a visionary navigating the dynamic landscape of technology his uh, insight into the future of technology in the Middle East and GCC are sure to be enlightening so for those who are expi- aspiring to leadership roles in a technology Today, Kamal is with us to share the wealth of advice and based on his rich journey and experiences. So, this is all about uh, my today's guest, Mr. Kamal Farag, and he is joining with us on Adfar Tech Venture Podcast, and we are so uh, grateful to have him today. So, without, uh, you know, investing much time from myself to, you know, say more about him, but let him uh, share this uh, platform and uh, let him share his journey in his words. So, Kamal, welcome to the podcast and we are so much grateful to have you today with us. And thank you so much for joining this podcast. So, could you take a moment to share a bit about your journey, your experiences in this uh, technology and inspirations behind your journey, please? Uh, welcome, Simon. At first, I'd like to thank you a lot for the opportunity to contribute to your esteemed podcast and engage with your uh, wonderful community and listeners. And the, as you already have mentioned, uh, I'm a skilled digital executive with a proven uh, record of building, managing, and growing technology departments and companies, trusted by business leaders on strategy development and the execution to meet evolving customer needs, customer excellence, and the commercial outcomes. I have initiated startups. I have led technology organizations through a full life cycle of growth, demonstrating people leadership. I have inspired high performance teams responsive to growth and cost challenging needs. With exceptional interpersonal and communication skills, successfully fostered the valuable internal and external partnerships. That's great. That's so great. Thank you so much, Kamal. There's a captivating introduction. So, uh, your journey is, uh, you know, uh, kind of a inspirations to many in the tech community. So, you know, yes. Uh, thank you so much for this uh, humble introduction. So, Kamal, if you permit me, I would also like to, you know, give a brief about myself uh, in some more details with my organization's detail. So, can I? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to have a word with you through this podcast. And um, as I mentioned earlier also, like myself is a Sonar Shah and I'm the host of this show. And uh, this podcast is brought to all of us by Edfar Tech Venture. So, if I give just brief about uh, what is Edfar Tech Venture is, so, Adfar Tech Venture is a IT and the tech platform, and uh, majorly we are focusing on IT solutions, IT resources, recruitments, and uh, this kind of a tech audio podcast. And uh, we have a vendor alliances with the 50 plus tech partners. It includes uh, SAP, uh, Oracle, Microsoft, Pega, OutSystems, APN, Salesflora, then uh, Cloudera, Informatica, and uh, many others also. And uh, we provide uh, majorly key solutions, uh, including the uh, ERP, application development, uh, data, and AIMLs, and blockchain, cloud, managed services, uh, then UX, UI testing, and the cyber securities. And the uh, major skills which we have right now is uh, we have uh, you know, 20,000 plus resources and across the skills. Uh, which we can deliver both on site as well as offshore within the 24 hours. So that is our major capability. And uh, with this podcast, we try to aim to, you know, uh, link all the visionary leaders uh, of the tech community and uh, to, you know, hear their views on uh, ongoing uh, new technological trends and what are the things that, you know, uh, innovations are going on. So this is all about the Adfar Tech Venture and uh, Adfar Tech Ventures podcast. And uh, thank you for, you know, collaborating with us for uh, this podcast. So, thank you for everything. You too. Thank you so much. So, thank you, Kamal, for uh, this, uh, you know, uh, opportunity to have a discussions with you on the tech leadership.
so uh, like uh, this is all about introductions and now we are not going to you know invest more time into the knowing about each other but let's try to you know have a more insights into the technology but uh, actually before you know if going into the depth of the discussions i would also like to say thank you to the audience because because of their curiosity and uh, their eagerness we are bringing these all kinds of uh, you know various technology leaderships together and uh, bringing more and more ctos and it heads together to share their views and opinions about what are the current trends and technologies going on so thank you audience for joining us and now that as we have a uh, exchange you know the glimpse into our pet ground let's keep uh, our sessions uh, ongoing and we will end with the question and answer so are you ready kamal yeah sure i'm ready and i'd like to share my thanks also to for all the audience and listeners yeah thank you so much thank you so much kamal for your excitement so kamal uh, first of all i would like to know that uh, you know what initially drew you to a career in the technology and leadership yeah it's a very interesting question uh okay when i was in uh, the middle school i be yeah thinking how i could leverage my mental abilities without the need for significant physical resources especially since industries were very costly and the most of the industries within my environment were focused on maintenance or repairing rather than manufacturing i was looking for an industry that didn't require a lot of money at that time egypt was leading uh, in the software industry so i decided to enter this field especially this field allowed for the demonstration of unique mental abilities unlike some areas where you might find you, yourself on equal footing with your colleagues even your uh, competitors competitors uh, vary this realization and the possibilities i saw in the technology and leadership were convenient for me to and got me excited about working in this field and leading others nay that's wonderful that's wonderful so uh, like uh, this is originally originated from you know the uh, since a long age i can say and it's a fantastic backdrop you know that you have set for the audiences to start the conversations so thank you so much for this wonderful answer so uh, okay. Tamil, you had also mentioned that you know uh, you are having this high performance teams on in linkedin So could you share some uh, insights into your leadership styles and how to cultivate a culture of a leader? Yeah, sure. Uh in my leadership approach, I prefer the people oriented style. I believe that investing in our team members is the cornerstone of driving business success. This investment doesn't just mean providing with them with the tools and technologies they need, but also involve its fostering an environment where they feel valued supported and motivated to grow for me creating a culture of excellence starts with understanding and addressing the unique needs and aspirations of each team member i focus on aligning individual goals with our broader business objectives ensuring that everyone understands how their work contributes to our shared success with alignment helps in building a sense of ownership and the bride in their contributions moreover while i'm very keen about leveraging cutting edge technologies i always emphasize that uh, the end uh, goal is to enhance our business outcomes not just adopt new technologies for the sake of being trendy i encourage open communication promote continuous learning and provide opportunities for my team to experiment and innovate by doing it all I aim to create like a dynamic and secure inclusive work environment where high performance is not just expected but is naturally achieved through genuine engagement and a shared commitment to excellence. And at least my leadership style is about empowering our team to be the best that they can be knowing that they succeed they succeed uh, the business succeed. Wow that's a very commendable job you know you are reading so your insights into this leadership style and specifically the management of the team that is uh, nothing else but the cultivation of a culture you know that uh, um can uh, that are adding this uh, layer of a uh, practical wisdom so uh, that's a wonderful that's a wonderful you know and so other uh, listeners also so thank you so much thank you and uh, among the key achievements that you had also shared with uh, you know the 
about decisions and know that uh, you had uh, you know uh, worked with the various startups like the PD uh, Saudi store and there's the last mile business uh, that all are standouts so can you share some of the insights into challenges and uh, success of initiating such ventures yeah sure actually launching uh, speedy was at the crowning moment in my career marked by a blend of significant challenges and remarkable achievements from the beginning we were faced with a tight budget and the limited resor- uh, number of resources one of the initial issues was assembling a dedicated team from the ground up we aimed to build a revolutionary air while also enhancing the support and supporting the existing one this required integrating new business serving features under the pressure of stronger competition from poor global competitors like Amazon and local powerhouses like Moon. The journey from concept to execution was verified with tests and evaluation, yet yet the true measure of our success went beyond merely overcoming these obstacles. We managed to roll out our service in a phased milestones ensuring that our updates did not disturb the existing apps over uh, operation. This strategic approach allowed, allowed us to maintain both applications on the same backend infrastructure, preserving backward compatibility, and ensuring a seamless user experience. Our success can also be attributed to our commitment to adopting cutting-edge uh, cutting technology and fostering a team of T-shaped professionals. He shared the professionals who are individuals who process deep knowledge in a particular area of experience, complemented by a port based of skills across the board. This great team was uh, crucial in navigating the complexities of uh, launching the tech driven venture in the competitive e grocery and last mile delivery market in case A. By the way, today, as I pivot to a new challenge, aiming to create the world's leading employment platform, the lessons learned and the success achieved serve as a solid foundation for that. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So you have shared everything very openly and, you know, the challenge is faced and the success uh, celebrated. So uh, that itself is, you know, providing the invaluable lessons for uh, each of us. So thank you so much for sharing this, you know, uh, the key achievements and uh, how you had worked with these uh, biggest uh, ventures. So uh, okay. your, uh, experiences, uh, what are the emerging trends in the software development and the project management uh, uh, you are working currently? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the rapidly evolving landscape of software development and project management, Several emerging trends excite me while presenting new challenges. Firstly, the shift towards DevOps and the continuous integration, continuous deployment practices excites me because it represents a fundamental change in how we develop, deploy, and maintain software. This approach not only accelerates the development cycle, but also enhances collaboration across teams, leading to higher quality software products. Another thing is the rise of AI and machine learning within development processes. These technologies transforming how we approach problem solving and innovation software development. The challenge here lies in the ethical and responsible use of AI, ensuring that as we integrate these powerful tools into our development workflows, we remain mindful of privacy, security, and bias. Also, agile methodologies continue to evolve. And with this evolution comes the challenge of adapting this principle to scale in large distributed, distributed teams. The need towards more adaptive and flexible project management frameworks is exciting because it pushes organizations to become more responsive and flexible. However, it also requires a deep cultural shift and a commitment to ongoing learning and adaptation. Lastly, uh, the emphasis of user experience and accessibility in software development is the trend that aligns closely with my people-oriented philosophy. This focus changes us to design and develop software that it's not only functional and efficient, but also inclusive and accessible to all users, regardless of their abilities or circumstances. Each of these trends presents unique opportunities to enhance how we create, manage, and deliver software products. 
right but wonderful wonderful so your alternative perspective on uh, this emerging trend in the software development or whether it's a uh, project management uh, each and every word that you know is so uh, enlightening as well as engaging with the knowledge and the experience you are having so it also sounds similar but looking dimensions uh, to this uh, conversation as well as a uh, uh contemplate uh, evolving landscape of a technology yes wonderful chat yeah. so um, yes come so based on your experiences in the technology and uh, the uh, world that is uh, shaped by nowadays the technology so particularly in the context of the middle east and gcc uh, can you predict what will be the future of technology and what are the trends that are going to shape the next generations Yeah, sure. And thank for this important question. The future of technology in Middle East and the GCC is really exciting. Countries here are working hard to use technology in different areas, like finance, health, and education, to make their economies strong. There is a big push to make everything digital, starting from smart cities that use technology to make life better, to improving schools, hospitals, or the latest tech. AI and 5G are big deals here too. They are they are helping solve problems uh, unique to this region, like saving water, energy, and making services like health care and government working work better and faster. But with all these cool tech changes, there are some challenges: keeping information safe online, making sure people's privacy is protected. and having rules that keep up with all the new technologies and are important also teaching people uh, that skills that they need for these new tech jobs is crucial in short technology is set to change a lot of things in the middle east and gcc offering new opportunities for business and making life better for people success will depend on everyone working together to make the most of these technologies while solving my prop any problems that uh, come on that's actually the right uh, you know the uh, approach and the right to be of uh, going ahead in line with the technology based at the requirements generated and based on you know complying with that uh, requirement so that's actually the uh, practical guidance uh, you have solved uh, you know and that's uh, highlight your leadership skills to you know predict for the next uh, technological needs also so thank you so much so uh, planning on this uh, if i ask you that you know currently being a cto uh, uh, do you find any need for a specific kind of skills uh, that people must have uh, to be in the tech trends or complying yes. with the uh, needs of the future technical uh, uh, you know requirements that uh, sure Uh, if you are aiming for a leadership uh, role in technology, remember that it's about more than just technical skills. Soft skills like how we well communicate, how we, how well you communicate and understand other feelings, are just as important. You also need to keep learning about things like project management and how to handle risks and operations. My biggest ad- piece of advice is to remember you are leading people, not just working on projects. Think about how your decisions affect affects them personally. This will help you understand what motivates them and what might upset them. Remember, you are not working alone. You are a part of a bigger team or a department, and together we you are creating something for other people. Always try to see the big picture and how everything fits together. Mistakes will happen, and that's okay. What matters the most is how you handle the, those mistakes and learn from them to avoid making them again in the future. Lastly, never stop learning. The tech world is moving fast, and to lead effectively, effectively, you need to stay ahead of new trends and knowledge. This not only helps you keep up with your team, but also inspires inspires them to keep growing too. that's a wonderful that's a wonderful so you have reflected you know your whole journey with uh, you know so much genuine it's a epic it's a relatable start then the wonderful that's a wonderful so thank you uh, actually in my each and every sessions uh, and the and uh, i used to ask to you know all my guest people that uh, you know what will be the future of the nuggets or a future of wisdom 
which you would like to share. But uh, instead of my asking, you have shared each and every advice with uh, you know without asking also. So yeah, wonderful. That's a wonderful. And, uh, that's actually the leadership skills uh, that you are reflecting in your each and every words. Yes, that's a great. Thing. That's a great. Yeah, thank you so much. So, uh, like uh, Kamal, uh, as such, uh, we are not discussing any time with uh, any of the people. But uh, based on your uh, you know, experience and the bio you are carrying, I would like to ask you one question that is uh, related to your own as the uh, term of budgets uh, and all. So, uh, like, uh, how do you find that you know, uh, as per your experiences, that industries are open to invest in uh, any new technology? So, do you find any resistance, or do you find the people are nowadays more flexible? What's your view? Any other question? Sorry. Uh, any other question? Again. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, based on your experiences, uh, uh, do you find resistance from the organizations to invest in technology, or uh, do you find the flexibility in terms of, uh, you know, in uh, investment in technology? Yeah, it depends. On, uh, yes, technology is the need. Yeah, yeah. How do you find the uh, commercialization or a budgeting part? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, again, it depends on the organization itself. Uh, and uh, about about its history of uh, the achievements and development and uh, uh, and the track of the digital transformation. Currently, I see uh, nowadays that all of uh, organizations and everyone admits the impact and the powerful of the digital transformation. So all people, after touching the value of the digital transformation and how and how they uh, return it back by saving more. Uh, from their experiences and uh, uh, saving more time from uh, uh, their team, they started to invest more and more. But again, it depends on the organization itself. You know, some organizations that uh, rely on the offline activities like the retail still is that uh, the biggest part of uh, outcomes comes from this part. This part. And uh, so they are trying just to invest in the area of online to uh, make sure from uh, saving their market share. But when it comes on another track like the governmental sectors, they already touched the impact of uh, the digital transformation. Uh, they saved a lot from time costs they spent to provide the services for their target uh, audience. So they started to invest more and more. So again, it depends on the uh, nature of work of each organization. Right, right, right. Very rightly said. It depends on organization to organization as well as, you know, the prospects and the need for going to digitalization. That's true. Yes. That's so much, Kamal. So, Kamal, uh, this was the last question. But as we wrap up the, you know, discussions, I would like to know something more in detail that uh, any of your current projects or initiative that, you know, you are currently working or passionate about. So, what can we expect from you in the future? Yeah, sure. Recently, I have been lucky to lead projects that have seen significant success in the Middle East and GCC, contributing to my unique experience in creating great products. Currently, me, my team, and I challenging our efforts into developing a product that aims to set new benchmarks on a global scale. We believe we boost the skill, the creativity, and the determination necessary to surpass what has been achieved by tech leaders so far. I'm dedicated to apply all my knowledge and energy to ensure the success of our current project. What I can promise for the future is the continuity of uh, this dedication. I always strive to give my best, not just for personal fulfillment, but also to make a meaningful impact in the technology sector. We are not just aiming to match the achievement of those who have lived that way in tech, we are aiming to exceed them bringing an innovative solution that can benefit uh, people or everybody. That's a thank you. Thank you so much, Kamal, for this wonderful insights about, you know, your future and uh, future plannings and uh, the uh, trains in which you are running your race. So that's a wonderful know about everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah, so Kamal, this is the end of our this uh, enriching discussions on the tech leaderships, and uh, on behalf of the Far Tech Venture and from myself also, I want to express our heartfelt gratitude for your insightful and uh, this engaging participations in our today's podcast episode, and uh, your wealth of experience and this uh, candid sharing of uh, insights on a technology leadership and uh, the journey. Uh, it's definitely, you know, uh, going to enrich our uh, conversation more in when the audience went into Lisa. So, thank you once again for being an integral part of a FATIC podcast. And we definitely look forward to the opportunity to collaborate again in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd like to thank you more uh, for this opportunity. And again, thanks for all the listeners and your esteemed the listeners at the community. Thank you so much, Kamal. So, uh, audience also, uh, if you would like to know something more in detail or what the Kamal is doing and how he's, you know, uh, uh, running this race with this journey and experiences he has, so just go to his LinkedIn page as the name of a Kamal Farag and you can find all the beautiful life lessons and learning from himself on different posts. So this is all about Kamal and if you want to know something more in details about other technological trains and what the other CTOs are also saying, just go to Advartic Venture podcast page as well as Advartic Venture company page where you can find all the details about the ongoing works and things that are for sure So thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for this uh, wonderful session. Stay tuned and uh, keep learning. Thank you so much. Thank you, Axel. I'll thank you. Thank you, Kamal. Thank you, Kamal. Thank you, Kamal.